National Educational Television presents The Children's Corner with Josie Carey, produced by WQED for the Educational Television and Radio Center. Why, hi, don't I know you? Why, hi, I'm sure I do. Why, hi, you know me too. Why, hi, how do you do? Why, hi, I'm Josie. Why, hi, how do you do? Hello. How have you been since we've seen you last? I hope you're fine. We're all fine on the children's corner, and we're ready to spend a half hour with you now. Your friends Daniel S. Tiger and King Friday the 13th and Grand Père are here today, and we have a very special guest, Miss Emily Jacobson, and she's going to do a little Kelka Shows for us. You know what Kelka Shows is? That's the French word for something, and we like to say it on the children's corner. We say everything is Kelka Shows this or Kelka Shows that, and Miss Emily Jacobson we call the poetry lady. And so she's going to recite a little Kelka shows for us. So Kelsey. I have this da Hi, Daniel. Hi. Hi, Daniel. Hi. How are you? How are you? Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to the children's corner. Gee, it's nice to see them, isn't it? it certainly is. Josie? Yes. Uh, would you hold out your hands right here? Right here, like this? Uh, both of them. Both of them. Like no, no. This? Open them up. Like this. Just like that. And shut your eyes. Oh, dear. Just shut your eyes. Think I better? Oh, please do. It's a trick. It's a real nice one. Oh, all right, then. Shut your eyes. Okay. Come in. Do you have Kelka shows for me? I have a little Kelka shows for you. <gasps> oh, Daniel. Oh, that's me. We just <laughs> got... Thank you. We just got a new refrigerator. Oh, dear. It what am I supposed to do with it? Well, it makes them so fast that I didn't know where <laughs> to put them. Mmm, nice and cold. It's good, uh, isn't it? Oh, it's melting. Good, isn't what it? What do I do with it? Give it to one of the tigers. Thank you very much. And I think I'll throw it in at Henrietta. Oh, no, no. Wouldn't that be a trick to play? Oh, that would be bad. I'll call her first, all right? And then I'll just sort of slip it in. Oh, I wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it? Oh, no. Because Grand would like to have it. I, I think that it'd probably freeze his Eiffel Tower. Oh, well. Well, why did you give it to me? Look at it. It's just melting all over the place. I'm making rain. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Make rain, 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 go away. Come again. I'll take it, Josie. Day. You're having too much fun with it. I'll take it. Well, didn't that didn't you give it to me so I could have some fun? Yes. Yeah. All right, then. You can have it, though. Please. I like it, too, to play with. All right. Now then. my hands... Oh, oh, dear. Sorry. There goes a good ice cube. My there hands are all wet. Now what will I do? Oh. Bend down. Oh, no. <laughs> Bend down. Come out here. Come here. Come on. Come on. My hands are wet, and the only thing for me to do is to dry them on something. Daniel? Oh, there. <laughs> thank you. Well, that's grand. Nice yellow towel. That's a tiger warts cloth. Oh, it is. Yep. All right. There, now. I have to send it to the laundry now. There you are. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Uh -huh. Next time I give it to you, it'll have an ice cube in it. No more ice cubes, all right? All right, just all a right. minute. You know who that is? To you know him? Daniel. Daniel, I'll have to introduce you. All righty. All right? Hi. I'd like you all to meet my good friend, the president of the Tame Tiger Organization, Daniel S. Tiger. How do you do? How do you do? Hello. Hello. Oh, Josie, it's fun here. It's nice to be back, isn't it? I know it. I love my hands it. are cold now. I have to warm them up. There. Oh, you're nice and warm. Oh, am I making you cold? No, you're not that cold. Oh, now, now. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Slow down. Oh. You're not that cold. Oh. Do you oh. have a sweater you could put on? Better? Are you slowing down? That's better. There. There. That's fine. Feel nice now? Oh, much better. My Guess goodness. who's going to be here today? Who? Miss Emily, the poetry lady. The poetry lady? Mm -hmm. Emily Jacobson. Emily Jacobson. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Do you, you have a good poem for her? I'm well, sure she has one for us. I hope so, because I just love to learn the one she tells us. Do you know what I think I'll do? What? I think I'll take her over to see the king. Do you suppose he'll let her in calendar land? Never know. Well, I'll call him, and then I'll, um... Ask him when I see him, and if he says yes, then I'll come back and get her and take her over. Wouldn't Fine, good? But, but then you'll come and see me, won't you? Oh, yes, yeah, certainly. All righty. I'd like to visit Grand Père, too, today. Do you think he's going to be home? I don't know. Give him my best if you see him, will you? How do you say best in French? I don't know. 
Grandpierre just speaks French, you see. Just say right hello right. to him for me. Bonjour. Yeah. Bonjour. All right, I'll say Daniel says bonjour. Daniel D. Bonjour. Oh, D is how you say says? Yeah, it's oh. uh, D-I-T, I think. Oh, all right. Daniel D. Bonjour. Good. Okay. okay. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. 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 No, see you later. Don't you give Emily any ice cube. Oh. Do you don't think do I shouldn't? It. No. Ice cube is... She's a guest. Oh. It's all right to do that with family, but not with guests. All righty. All right? Yeah. Okay. No ice cube for the guests. Okay, all right. bye. Bye. Goodness, he shouldn't give an ice cube to a guest. Do you think he should? I don't. Well, Daniel D. Bonjour. That's how you say Daniel says hello. I'm going to see Grandpere now. I hope he's home. Grandpere lives right here. You've met Grandpere. He lives in this nice Eiffel Tower. Uh, Grandpere, bonjour. Bonjour, grand-père. Oh, bonjour, Josephine. Comment ça va? Très bien, merci. Et vous? Très bien, merci. Uh, grand-père, dis bonjour à uh, vous, vous amis. Oh, mes amis? Oui, oh, oui. sûrement. Bonjour, mes amis. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Très bien, j'espère. Oh, ils sont gentils, n'est-ce pas? Oui, they're very nice. Gentils, very Mes nice. Mes amis sont très gentils. Très gentils. Vous savez, Josephine? Oui, grand-père. Oh, grand-père, oui. before I forget, Daniel dit bonjour. À moi? À vous. Oh, merci, merci. Nice, mm, gentil. Oh, oui, ça c'est gentil. J'adore Daniel. Oh, yes, he said he loves Daniel. Il est... J'adore Daniel oui. aussi, also. Il est mon ami. Uh, il est mon ami, too. He's my friend. Très il est bien. mon ami. Vous savez, Josephine, oui. nous avons une petite chanson qui s'appelle « Les jours de la semaine ». Je me demande si vous pouvez le chanter pour nous maintenant. I have to think a while when Grandpère talks to me because he speaks French and I, I don't speak it too well. And... Les jours de la semaine. Les jours de la semaine. The, the days of the week. Oui, the days of oh, the week. Oh, voulez-vous uh, chanter la chanson? Oui, et voulez-vous chanter avec moi? Oh, he wants to know if I want to sing it with him. We have a song called The Days of the Week. Uh, oui, grand-père. Voulez-vous la commencer? Oui, uh, I'll commence, that means to begin. This is a song that teaches how to say the days of the week in French. You know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. This is all about how you say them in French. In France, the days are just the same. The same as over here. The sun goes up and then comes down. Each week and month and year. But since the French speak differently, their days don't sound the same. What say we learn it their way? I think that would be tame. The first day is lundi. Monday's what we say, oh my. The next day is mardi. In English, that's Tuesday. Wednesday is mercredi. Then What's the French for Friday? Vendredi, they say. The weekend starts with Samedi. That Saturday, you know. Dimanche is French for Sunday. Where did that whole week go? Lundi, mardi, mercredi. Jeudi, vendredi. Samedi, dimanche. Très bien, Josephine. Uh, I, I got quelque chose in my throat. Oh, quelque chose dans la gorge. Quelque chose, oui. Quelque chose dans la gorge. That gore. means something, quelque chose. Josephine. Oui, grand-père. Je me demande si uh, nous pouvons regarder la machine maintenant pour les jours de la semaine. Oh, 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 oui, grand-père. He wanted to know if we wanted to regarder la machine. That Je means pense... look in the machine. Je This pense is... que ça vaut la peine parce que voici les jours de la semaine en français. Oh, this is the way they look, the days of the week, written and spelled for you. This is Monday. Lundi. Lundi. Monday. Mardi. Tuesday. Mercredi. Wednesday. Jeudi. Thursday. Vendredi. Friday. Samedi. Saturday. Dimanche. Dimanche. 
Sunday. La di ma di mercredi, jeudi vendredi, samedi dimanche. It's fun, don't you agree? Oui, oui, oui. Aren't they nice? These are the days of the week. Les jours Merci, de la grand semaine. Père. Je vous en prie, Joséphine. Les jours de la semaine. Les semaine. jours de la semaine. Semaine. Les jours de la semaine. Les jours de la semaine. Merci, grand père. Oui. Voulez-vous uh, put back in the machine? Oui, si vous voulez. Oh, all right. We'll just put it right back in, and then the machine can give it to us another time. Joséphine. Oui, grand père. C'était gentil de vous voir. C'était gentil de vous voir. J'étais enchanté. J'étais enchanté. Oh, it's been so pleasant, he said. Merci, grand-père. Je vous en prie. Et Joséphine? Oui. Je vous verrai bientôt. I think he, he said he'll see me again soon. Uh, mais, uh, oui, grand-père, oui. Adieu, Joséphine. Adieu, grand-père. Adieu. Ad adieu, mes amis. Adieu. 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 To be nice. Gentil. That means nice in French. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. He's fun, don't you agree? We, we, we. That means yes, yes, yes. Well, now I think uh, we've seen Grandpa and Daniel. Oh, I do want to go see King Friday the 13th. He's very nice. You have to call and make an appointment, though, because I'm uh, very busy. He is in charge of all of the days and all of the weeks and all of the year. And oh, uh, Calendar Land, may I speak to King Friday the 13th? Oh, oh, I see. He's not in a very good mood. Oh, that's a pity because I wanted to bring a guest to see him. Uh, well, uh, would you please ask him to come to the telephone? It's Josie. Yeah, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. He's very busy. You know how it is. He gets, uh, Oh, his date's in order, and some days when things go wrong, oh dear. Uh, King Friday the 13th, how are you? Uh, this is Josie, may I come over to see you? I have a favor I'd like to, oh, uh, well, I'll tell you about it later. Bye. Oh, he didn't sound like he's going to say yes. I know Emily would like to see him very much. Let's go see, maybe if we're nice to him, he'll, he'll be all right. Hello, King Friday the 13th. How do you do, Josephine? How do you do, Josephine? King Friday, how nice you look. Well, thank you, Josephine. You look so royal. Well, Josephine... Is that a new crown? Oh, no, Josephine. Same old crown. Same, same old crown. Well, I, my goodness, I would say that was a new crown. Well, is that so, Josephine? Yes, uh, I guess it must be. You got an, a new haircut or something. Well, Josephine... I don't know why, but you just look so regal today. Well, I try to keep myself in regal form, Josephine. Well, you do a very nice job of it, King Friday. Thank you so much, You're Josephine. You're welcome. What a pleasant visit this is turning out to be, uh, Josephine. Yes, well, you know how much we like to visit with you, King Friday. Why, yes, Josephine. I get requests every day from people who say, couldn't I come to see King Friday? And I say all the time, oh, no, the king's much too busy. You know how kings are. Is that so, Josephine? Oh, my, yes, everybody wants to visit with King Friday. Well, of course, kings are rather busy, Josephine. Do you like but to meet other people, King Friday? Well, of course, it depends, Josephine, on the other people. Well, I have a very, very good friend who, um, oh, she does so much love to see you. She recites poetry Is beautifully. Poetry, Josephine? Poetry. And I know how fond you are of poetry. All kings are fond of poetry, Josephine. Yes, it's very royal to be fond of poetry. Poetry is a royal occupation. Well, do you think that, uh, would it be asking too much if I were to, um, bring my friend over? This very day, Josephine. Uh, yes, not for long, just a minute. This moment, Josephine. Yes. She's, she's right out here. I am not in a, uh, meeting the friend uh, mood at the moment, but uh, I could probably be in it in three seconds. All right, you get in the meeting of the friend mood, all right? Shall I be quiet? Please, Jennifer. All right. Meeting of the friend mood.
I am Pardon? now in the meeting of the friend mood. Oh, all right, evening. then. I'll be right back. Very well. It's all right, Emily. Come on, you can come in. Thank you very much. Emily. Uh, King Friday, I would like you to meet Miss Emily Jacobson. How do you do, Mr. Kaplan? How do you do, Mr. Kaplan? I'm very well indeed, Your Majesty, and how are you today? I am very well myself. Uh, I did not expect uh, company, so I am not in my, as you say, best bibbon tucker. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that bibbon tucker looks, looks fine. He looks very handsome, doesn't yeah. he? Good gracious Thank me. Thank you so much. Uh, I understand that you are an advocate of poetry, Mr. Kaplan. Well, I'm very fond of poetry, Your Majesty, certainly. Uh, and I'm sure you are. Most kings are, aren't As they? a matter of fact, I have dabbled in it a bit uh, myself. Uh, I learned a very fine poem, one of the first things that I ever learned in my young kingly life, as a matter of fact. And which was that? Oh, this was the uh, scintillate, scintillate, diminutive stellar orb. I'm sure you know of this. No, I'm afraid I don't. You don't, How does it go again? You don't know scintillate, scintillate, diminutive stellar orb. Good gracious me, you couldn't by any chance mean twinkle, twinkle, little star, could you? There are those who call it that. But uh, I should like to recite it for you in the kingly fashion if you uh, would so desire. I would be most honored. Scintillate, scintillate, diminutive stellar orb. How inexpensive. Applicable to me seems the stupendous problem of your existence. Elevated at such an immeasurable distance in an apparently perpendicular direction from this terrestrial planet which we occupy, resembling in thy dazzling and unapproachable effulgence a gem of the purest carbon set solitaire in a university of space. Well, My. King Friday, that, that really speaks very, very highly for your profound education. Thank you so much. I but do you know there's a very simple version that uh, we, we more ordinary people, not royal, do. Would you like to hear that? I would very much like to. Is this the one that begins with the twinkling of That's it? That's the one. Very the well. I would love to hear this, Mr. Gopal. Well, we say, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. It's not nearly as impressive as your version. Not quite so long, either. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not quite isn't. so long, either. Well, King Friday, it's been nice talking to you, and I'm sure Emily is overcome I meeting you. I am simply yes. overpowered and overjoyed. Oh, yes, but I'm afraid I promised Daniel that uh, we'd go say hello to him. So if you don't mind, may we take our leave? Oh, well, uh, I guess it would be uh, possible. Upon meeting a new guest, I'd like to remain with her quite some time, Josephine. You do? Uh, yes. Uh, maybe after the program, you could uh, return, Miss Jacobson, That's and uh, maybe we could dabble together in poetry. Very nice. I'm sure she'd it would like be that. Very nice. Can May I fine? take your hand in parting and say farewell, Miss Jacobson? Farewell, Miss Jacobson. Farewell, Miss Jacobson. Farewell, King Friday. The honor's entirely mine. Bye, King Friday. See you later. Wasn't that nice of him? Oh, really My nice. goodness, he is certainly very gracious, isn't he? He very isn't royal. the most gracious king I ever met. <laughs> also the only one. Oh, <laughs> yes, he's the only king I yes. ever met either. Well, I'm sure Daniel is waiting just a moment, please, while I knock. Daniel! Is she here? Yes, she's here. Oh, Miss Jacobson, you remember Daniel? Oh, hello, Hi. Daniel. How are you, Emily? I'm very well indeed. You're as beautiful as ever, Daniel. Oh. You know, I always tell him that, that and Josie. Look at him, he's blushing. He gets so coy. Yeah. I love to he's see all Daniel red. all coy. Josie. You didn't get an ice cube, did you? Oh, no, no. All right, that's good. Emily yeah. should come every day. Yes, you like her to tell you that you're nice looking. It would be good for your wouldn't yes. it, Dan? Oh, you look so nice, too. Yes, you do. He's returning the compliment. I don't believe him, but still, it's very nice of him. Emily. You're sweet, Daniel. Yes, Daniel. Do you have some poems for us today? Well, how about... It has to be a special day when Daniel Tiger comes my way. Oh, isn't that nice? What have you got to say to that, Daniel? Well, it's got to be a special day when Emily Jacobson comes our way, too. Now, isn't he clever? Isn't yes. he clever? There you are, right out of his hat. 
He can recite poetry just like that. But I have another little poem for you, Daniel. What is it, Emily? It's called, Be the Best of Whatever You Are. Oh, that like sounds great. Yes, I'd love to. If you can't be a pine on the top of a hill, be a shrub in the valley, but be the best little shrub by the side of the rill. Be a bush, if you can't be a tree. If you can't be a bush, be a bit of grass and some highway happier make. If you can't be a musky, just be a bass, but the liveliest bass in the lake. We can't all be captains, we have to be crew. There's work for all of us here. There's big work to do and lesser to do, and the work you must do is the near. If you can't be a highway, just be a trail. If you can't be the sun, be a star. It isn't by size that you win or you fail. Be the best of whatever you are. Oh, oh isn't that, that nice, Daniel? Nice, oh, I love that. If you can't be a highway, then, then just, just be, be a, a trail. trail. If you can't be the sun, be a star. Be a star. It isn't by size that you win that or you, you fail. That you win or you fail. Be the best of whatever you are. Be the best of whatever you are. Oh, Josie, isn't that a grand <laughs> poem? That certainly is. That means if you can't be president of the United States, be the best president the Tame Tiger organization ever had. Exactly. And if you can't be the biggest tiger in the forest, well, then be the best clock tiger that you can be. And one of the prettiest. Oh. Emily! <laughs> oh. Isn't she nice? Oh. Emily, yes, dear. I, I haven't said this to too many people, but would you like to come and live in my clock? Well, I think I might be a little large to fit in with your 17 tigers, but I'd love to come and visit. Oh, I wish you would. Maybe we could have dinner together. That would be immense fun. I'd love to have dinner with you and your friends. We'll be having hamburgers, of course. Well, with what, Daniel? Well, we have a selection of things. We have ketchup, mustard, relish, piccalilli, pumpernickel, mayonnaise, tomato, chili sauce, onion, and honey. Well, I'll take any of them except the honey. Do you mind? Not any honey. No honey, thank you, dear. I guess it's the tigers that like that the best. I think so, yes. yes. Well, we can leave the honey off of yours. Of course we can. Well, that would be very kind of you, and then I'd love to come to dinner. One hamburger for Emily without the honey. That's good. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Lovely as always, It's Daniel. wonderful to see you. If you can't be a highway, then, then just be a trail. trail. If you, you can't, can't be, be a sun, sun be, be a star. It isn't by size that you, that you win or you fail. fail. Be the, the best of whatever you are. are. Goodbye, Daniel. Goodbye, Emily. Bye -bye, Thank Bye -bye, you Daniel. very much Love for coming. You. Wasn't that nice, Daniel? Oh, and she always tells me I look so nice. <laughs> She's nice, I think. Oh, wonderful. Be the best of whatever you are. Well, I'll try, Jesse. All right. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think we probably have the best refrigerator that there is. Yes, and I don't care for any more ice cubes, thank you. Not any at all? Not any at all. Wouldn't you like one for your head or something? What do you do with an ice cube on your head? You've heard of, of ice packs? Well, but you use them when you have a headache. I don't have a headache, thank you. Don't you? No. Tell me when you do, because we have lots of ice. You want to get rid of your ice, hmm? Yes. Well, we have... let's see. Do you have any cold water? No. Well, then... We just have ice. Just ice. You keep the ice, and someday if I ever want some ice for water, or for my head, or for my hand, or for just anything, I'll let you know. All right. All right. Josie? Yes? Would you do me a favor? I'll be very happy to. Would you sing my favorite song? Good night, God. Yeah. Well, I'd be very happy to do that, too. I'll go into my clock and watch on the television Oh, set. all right. You Bye. do that. See Bye. you later. Bye. See you later. The song that Daniel asked me to sing, I'm sure you've heard before, and I hope that you're learning it, so perhaps you'd like to sing it with me. It goes right along with the Be the Best of Whatever You Are that Miss Jacobson just recited for us, because it sort of helps you. If you haven't been too good today, it helps you think that maybe tomorrow is your day to be the best of whatever you are. It's how you say good night to God. Good night, God, and thank you for this very lovely day. for helping us at work and at our play. Thank you for our families, for each and every friend. Forgive us, please, 
for everything we've done that might open. Keep us safe and happy, God. Tell us what to do. Good night, God. I'm going to see if Daniel liked the song. I hope you did. And I hope you will learn it and sing it with me, all right? Daniel! Daniel, I think we have to go. Hi. Hi. Oh, it was so nice. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, I just love it here on the children's corner. Do you like it here? Yes. I wish we could stay a long time. And I wish we could visit every day, don't you? Yes. But, Josie... What? You know, it's nice to, to be able to do what we do. That's right. We have to make the best of what we're doing. Yep. If you can't be a highway, then just be a trail. If you can't be a sun, be a, be a star. star. It, it isn't, isn't by size, size that, that you, you win or you, or you fail. fail. Be, be the, the best, best of whatever you are. are. You're the best of whatever you are, Jesse. Am I? What am I? You're the hostess of the children's corner. <laughs> and you're the best tiger I ever knew, too. Thanks, Jim. You're welcome. I know you didn't know too many, but still. Well, still, you're the best tiger anybody ever knew, I'll bet. Thanks. But everybody Jim. likes you. But they do, see? Well, you like You have to me? say goodbye now. Do we? Mm -hmm. Already? Already. This clock, even though it doesn't move an inch, it still makes a half an hour go mighty fast. Whew. Whew. Like, like that. Like that. Yep. Well, well, so be it. We'll have another half hour coming up pretty soon. All righty. See you then. All right. So you Bye. be good. All righty. Bye, Jesse. Bye. Bye, everybody. See you real soon. We hate to leave. We always hate to leave because we have such a nice time visiting with you. And we hope, we hope you enjoy it as much as we do. So I hope you'll come back again next time and see your friends Daniel and Escape and Henrietta and King Friday and Grandpere. And we hope to have a very special guest for you next time, too. So until then, be good and take care of yourself and we'll see you, all right? So long, goodbye, adieu, arrivederci too. I'll be The Children's Corner with Josie Carey, produced by Fred Rogers and directed by Carl Freeborn. Technical supervision, Larry Flavin, from WQED, first in community television. This has been a presentation of the Educational Television and Radio Center. This is National Educational Television.